showtime. They're doing anything they want. The Miami Hurricanes not only beat number one, they destroy number one. Okay, Mike, so let's break down this matchup, starting outside and work our way in. Last time, Miami completely shut down Duke's perimeter game. And that's usually a key to, to beating the Blue Devils and, uh, and taking away their perimeter offense. And we'll take a look at what Miami did in that game in the half-court set. They do a lot of drive and pitch, and you've got to be focused in on where shooters are coming out on Suleiman, getting a hand up. And that's the key thing is to challenge shots. And they even get another good look as a result of this, but Thornton unable to, to knock it down. And then also in transition, it's a big key to defend outside in. You've got to find these guys, Seth Curry rising up. But again, Miami, a nice job getting back, a challenge shot, and a miss. And, uh, you know, it was just a long night. For Duke, though, when back at home, they're going to get in a little better rhythm. And this is what they like to do, push the ball at the floor, one pass to an open look on the perimeter. That game, the Miami big win over Duke, Seth Curry, Quinn Cook, Tyler Thornton, I think combined one for 29. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a long night from their guards. It's something, again, that you don't expect in Cameron, but this is a very, very good defensive team in Miami. So now let's move inside. We don't expect to see Ryan Kelly. He did dress last night, but what we've been told, at least, is that he won't be ready until Tuesday's game at the earliest. So without Kelly, Reggie Johnson, Julian Gamble, Kenny Kaji, that's a tough test for Mason Plumley. Yeah, it's a lot of bodies that they can throw at him, and it's a uh, and that's going to be a test for him. But this is what Miami's going to do. They're going to try to go out. Kenny Kaji can do a lot of things. He can put the ball on the floor, pressure you to defend. He can knock down the three, so you have to pay attention to him out on the perimeter. And then Reggie Johnson into the mix. He's just a, a big body inside, can wear people down. I don't know that he's in great physical condition right now. And to that end, what Mason Plumley has to do, get out in space in the open floor, run, finish at the rim, wear those guys down. It's going to be a long day for him, but uh, if he continues to get out in space, it's going to be a good thing for Duke.